Hey guys, Castle has done it again. Mamba Monster X AS censored ESC with an 800 kV censored 2028 size motor. How awesome is that? It's going to go into the X Max. Now, in the bottom left corner of the screen, there's a time. There's your time to get to the driving because I'm fixing to show you guys what's in the box. I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to mount it in the X Max and then we're going to take it outside. Take a look. Mamba Monster X 8S censored. Oh man. Waterproof cryo drive, smart sense, and quiet sense. The first I've seen that feature. Check this thing out right here. Huge fan. That's awesome. Now this has a cryo drive, which is, I'm not really sure, but it's supposed to keep everything nice and cool. I will have my temp gauge with me, so we'll see how the ESC actually does stay cool. I know the motor will stay cool because, you know, well, they just like to run cool in my experience with them. So now this also has the auxiliary wire plug right here. So with that, you can actually adjust things like say maybe drag brake or, you know, top speed maybe or punch, you know, different things like that. So that'll be interesting with an X-Max. So could be cool. I guess you could, I don't know about the programming in it, but wonder if it has crawler mode. Be interesting. Crawler X-Max? Yeah, I don't know about that, but uh, we may have to find out. It might be good on the trail with this. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Application guideline. One six scale, up to 25 pounds. 2S to 8S. That's a pretty good range. BEC, 8 amps peak. It, uh, this thing will run any servo you got. See, up to 8 volts. So, uh, that's where mine's going to be set. I got a different servo in my truck. Fully censored. That's the beauty. Beautiful. So, and there's some just different uh, information on it. Standard issue. But, yeah. This thing right here also... Since it's a kind of a small footprint, really, as compared to, you know, some other larger ESCs, this thing should fit in a lot of applications. Really looking forward to this. Here's your sensor wire over here, your output. Got six capacitors in there. Oh, yeah. Let's get this thing connectored up and take a look at that motor. Here it is. The big bad 8S motor. Notice there are quite a few more holes up in the front of it to mount versus just the four that what the old one has. Look at that right there. Censored. Dual sensor ports for different applications. Sometimes you can't use that back one right there due to clearance. Well, you got one up at the top. I like that. And just for reference, it is just as big it is the full size 800 kv a little bit lighter in color so yeah they've definitely done some work on it so very nice now as far as the bolts go see the old motor you only had four this one has eight this will help you clock the motor for wires and other applications so and that right there has been a powerhouse for a long time Oh yeah, now got a new powerhouse. To mount this and any big motor in an X-Max, you're gonna need a quality mount. This one is from WFO. Now this thing is set up, it's gonna go right into the X-Max, bolts right into the stock holes, and everything here is gonna work out fine. I really like the double sensor port on the back of the motor. Really like that feature. Eight millimeter shaft, I've got a 40, a 43 tooth pinion gear. I think I may have got this from Kershaw many years ago. And this has uh, lived through several spur gears. We'll see if the spur gear survives this one. So anyway, that's the mount. There are links in the description to get the mount and castle all this stuff. Make sure you check that description out. Let's see here.
So now it's time to glue the ESC down because you can't go driving around like that. Get the pinion gear on and finally take it outside. All right, Sean, uh, I guess give us a good pull here. Sure. Well, we'll see if it survives. <laughs> All right. Wow. Easy. Don't flip it out there. I'm not flipping it. <laughs> Easy, easy. There's things there. I'm a professional, Joe. Professional. <laughs> uh huh, professional. <laughs> Ready when you are. Okay, now it's my turn to drive one-handed, huh? really good if it's gonna get hot this will do it yes I did <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah Wow, you can hear the most axe of CVDs. Wow. <laughs> hey, uh, bring it on over. We'll go ahead and check some temps real quick. <laughs> I hear the fan running. Let's try the motor real quick. 46 Celsius, 114. That's a piece of hand bell. Okay, hang on. 32, 89, about the gear? Yeah. 100, 111. Okay. What about the gears? <laughs> 85. Hey, we're getting a complete. 88. <laughs> that's not bad at all. Nope, that's not bad at all. I can hear those CVDs when you're turning. Yep. They are not happy. Maybe they'll survive. That'll be uh, right. Yeah, we'll get the body back on and take it back. Oh, look, cooled off already. What's the ambient temperature right now? About 70? Mm, probably a little bit less, probably about 65. About 65 or 70? Okay. Yeah, with the wind and all. Go back this way. I don't know what's on the other side. That's on the other side. So I wasn't trying to aim for that. <laughs> no. <laughs> See that one I just let fly. I know you're letting it fly. Ooh. Perfect plan. <laughs> Perfect for Mr. Giggles. Wow. Oh. Wow. 
Wow, nice. Oh, oh, that was nice. Last minute front flip, and I got it. <laughs> Sean's going to attempt to crawl the X Max. That's it, Sean. It's a crawler now. It's now my comp. It's now my comp crawler. I'm going to JB weld the diffs. Oh yeah, this is getting some competition now. <laughs> That's not bad. Holy moly, dude, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, we just hit LVC, low voltage cutoff. Oh, oh. my ESC came loose. Oh. All right, oh, so at least it's got some durability. <laughs> 120 on the motor, 116 down there, 116 there. I guess I can turn the ESC up, right? Get a good shot right there. 87 on the ESC, dude. Wow. What batteries? That battery's only about 88. Well, all right. That was a good run. So what do you think, guys? That was smooth and all go. I love how you pull the throttle, no sputter, no spit, no cogging at all. It just take off. Smooth. And then the fact that it may actually be good on the trail now. Picture that. A smooth running X-Max on the trail that you can actually control and play around with. I mean, granted, it's not exactly a trail truck by any means. It's more about bashing and having fun. Speaking of that, what about that front flip Sean pulled? That was the best move Sean has ever done, and it looked like he did it on purpose. That's what made that so much better. It looked like he absolutely knew what to do <laughs> to get that over, um, which is kind of rare. Sean is quite the uh, wild driver, if you will. But anyway, guys, there are links in the, de the description straight to Castle. See if you can get this system for your own X-Max. Now, you have to have the mount. I got the WFO mount, so there's a link for that as well. And to gear this with a 54 tooth mod one gear, you're gonna need a really big pinion gear. And the 43 works really good for me. I've had that for quite a while. I think it was an old Kershaw gear from way back in the day, back when I got the first castle system for it. So anyway, guys, hopefully you liked the video. Check that description for links. There are affiliate links for eBay and Amazon. Click on those to check out anything in your cart. It gives me a little bit of a commission. Every little bit helps. So guys, thank you all for watching. If you guys like the channel and want to help it out a little bit, you can click that join button and actually become a channel member. Members get special privileges, maybe even some member giveaways. So make sure you check that out. And as always, subscribe, like, and share. Thank you guys for watching.